A Detroit native is living his dream, officially seeing his clothing brand sold at a major retailer. Yeah, take a look at this. A rival worldwide was born while attending U of D High School. Now Spencer Sanders the second. He's breaking barriers with his creativity, tenacity, and a drive to beat the odds. He's joining us live now here in studio. This is a huge yeah. deal for you. Not many people get the opportunity to make something they love and then get into a big store like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for it, really. Yeah. Can you talk about the process? This has been a journey years in the making. Yeah, it's definitely been a long time coming. Um, I created the name in high school. Then okay. a couple years after high school, I kind of developed the brand and just, you know, um, kept becoming more creative and becoming more, you know, business aware. Mm -hmm. And then just, yeah, over time, it reached its point today. So what's the what's the meaning behind the brand, Arrival? Yeah, Arrival, um, it means whatever you want to do in life, you eventually arrive to it. So it was kind of just like my testimony of just to continue to work hard, yeah. you know, um, continue to be consistent and just keep working hard towards my dreams, really. And when it comes to actually, you know, constructing the clothing, are, are you designing them? Are you, like, watching over that whole manufacturing process? How does that work? Because such high quality, I mean, the feel of it alone, this feels mm -hmm. different, you know? Yeah, I definitely, um, I'm completely hands-on. I do, for the most part, I do all of my own graphics. Um, okay. Now I have a team of graphic designers and stuff, but before, um, I was self-taught graphic design and everything. So, yeah, I'm really hands-on when it comes to the creation process. Did you say self-taught? Yeah, yes, yes. Wow, yeah, what was myself. that process like? Um, really just having a will to become a designer. You know, when you're younger, yeah. you really wanna, when I was younger, I used to just sew, even before arrival, I used to have my mom buy me a sewing machine. I used to Did make you like really? t-shirts, <laughs> yeah. So, Mom's back in the, in the studio audience. She's afraid to show so her face. So proud, yeah, yeah. beaming from ear to ear. <laughs> what was it like for you when you got the call? Um, oh, for this? Yeah, no, no, no. for for Foot Locker. Oh, we're for not, Foot Locker. We're not that big of a deal. No, we're not Foot Locker, okay? <laughs> um, it was it was cool. It was um, I kind of knew it was coming just because I have I have a connect who kind of reached out to me and told me about it, and then I didn't know it was going to actually you know sure. escalate to that point, but yeah. then sure. over time it eventually did. Does it feel real yet? Hmm. That you, I mean, you're in a major store now. Um, honestly, it feels normal. So I've been telling people that um. A lot lately, I say it feels normal just because I, I've already seen myself yes. at this stage and okay. further, so it just really feels normal for me. And it feels like you're manifesting it. Yeah. In definitely. real time, right? Yeah. Like yeah, even yeah. with the name of the brand, like you knew you are going to arrive. Mm hmm. Exactly. What would your message be to young entrepreneurs, or maybe they're in high school right now and they see you and see what you're doing and would like to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, I would definitely say just to be yourself and um, be yourself and definitely stay consistent. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's definitely hard to navigate through the clothing industry, I would say. But as long as you're consistent, you will definitely find your way. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what happened with me. I kind of didn't have a lot of the, the business or the sure. corporate mindset behind yeah. the business. I kind of just had the creativity growing up. Because you're an artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was there a lot of roadblocks, a lot of things that you had oh, to yeah, get yeah. through? Yeah, it was a lot. Uh, I lived in like four different states just to try to grow the brand. Wow. Yeah, I just, I lived in LA for the past three years and I just moved back here. Uh, because we're better? Yeah, yeah. We're the best. <laughs> we're the best. Well, Spencer, it is clear you have arrived. Yep. So congratulations to you. Amazing She's been clothing all day to say I, that. I, well, I have. I was waiting. I was worried you would say it first. <laughs> we are just so proud of you, and this is incredible. Can't wait to walk into Foot Lock and be like, hey. Right? We know. We talked to him. Which one should we be sporting here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, I see pink. <laughs> or or the bedazzled one. Well, thank you so much for being in studio, Spencer, and congratulations as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, the entire collection will be again available at these following Foot Locker locations starting on July 7th. East Point, Somerset, 12 Oaks, Fairlane Mall, and the Northland Store. So make sure you go and check it out. Spencer, thank you.